hello everyone. Are you able to hear me? Rashid, Sunil, Shahid, Manochin, Arlen, Kamil, Prabha, everyone out there. Okay, that's great. So, have you finished your assignment or not? How many of you have not submitted the assignment which was due on Sunday? Please let me know in the chat box. Okay, okay. So, Lakshmi, let me tell Where were you from past one month, Lakshmi? So, whoever has not submitted, George has, whoever has not submitted. Group of three? No, 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 not that assignment. The one that was given on classchatter.com. Classchatter.com one. See, Lakshmi, one new software has been introduced. Okay, uh, so uh, from now onwards, you know, uh, every teacher is going to give the assignment there itself. Okay, and uh, you can solve it there itself. Every week, uh, every teacher is going to give one or two assignments. You have to check that. You will have a specific ID and password for that. Okay, uh, I'll give you the demonstration, whoever has not understood. Okay, and then you will have to submit it. Okay, yes, there is a password. Everyone has a different password for the same. Yes, yes. Uh, Rahul, have you submitted it or not? But your password will be generated. It will be different for you, Rashmi. Or it doesn't have. Who all? Okay. Uh, Rahul, you have submitted it. Fine. So let me ask you one by one. Nasheed, have you submitted it or not? I will give you the password. I will generate it for you. Who so all have submitted it, please write, I have submitted it. Whoever has not submitted it, Mrs. Niharika has also given one, um, you know, assignment, two assignments. You have to submit that too. Okay. So whoever has not submitted, deadline has already passed. Okay. And uh, if you have not submitted it, then kind, and you are also going to get grades in there itself, Lakshmi. Okay. Uh, whoever has not submitted, I am giving you one more day, please submit it today. Okay. And Lakshmi, I'm going to explain you everything. Okay, Lakshmi and Arlen. Now, so today we are going to do many things, but before that, I want you to solve this online test. Okay, so just solve this. Click on this link, and one link, uh, one window will open at your end, and you have to solve all the questions which are there under that. And then you are going to switch over to grammar. Fine, everyone. Rashid, Sunil, Seher, George, Arlen, Kamil, Prabha, Adikoya, Lakshmi, Mohammed. Shafwan and Mohammed Shabazz, Anup and Rahul. So please solve this. And in the meanwhile, I'm just going to upload the, this uh, the document itself. So just solve this online test part.
देखो यार यू हैव टू यू नो व्हेन इट कम्स टू दैट टेस्ट द लिंक हैज बीन गिवन यू हैव टू सॉल्व इट सॉल्व इट राइट वे ओके स्ट्रेट वे फाइन है देखो यार यू सॉल्व इट नाउ इज इट क्लियर है देखो यार लिंक आई हैव ऑलरेडी पेस्टेड इन द चैट बॉक्स यू वांट मी टू पेस्ट इट अगेन एनी आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट फॉर यू दिस इज द लिंक Did you got the link, Lakshmi and Aditya? You just have to submit it online. Yeah, please submit it online. Okay, just do it, please. The two tests you have to solve today, and then we'll uh, switch over to the grammar thing. Okay? This is the link for the second one. Okay? Okay, Lakshmi. Uh, let me put the questions on the board as well. Okay? So that if you are not able to do it online, in that case you can solve it from board. ओके ओके लेट मी चेक आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू जनरेट ओके फाइन फॉर दोज हु आर नॉट एबल टू सी इट ऑन द बोर्ड आई मीन हु आर नॉट एबल टू डू इट ऑनलाइन आई एम टू पुट इट ऑन द बोर्ड टी All together, twenty-five questions. Okay. Lakshmi, can you see it on the board? Lakshmi, can you see it on the board? Ah, uh, yeah. Please solve it from the board itself. Rashid, are you solving it or not? Rashid, Suni, George, Arun, Tamil, Prabha, Lakshmi, Mohammed. Okay. Yeah, it's different. Uh, it's anyways. We just have to solve it. That's it. Hi, Samu. How are you? You have joined a bit late. Have you completed the assignment or not, Samu? Which was there on classchatter. dot com? Some of the we are doing an online test today. Okay, followed by grammar. The the link is there in the chat box. I know, Kamal. I know. See, uh, did you solve the assignment which was there on classchatter. dot com? Did you solve it or not? Some of the question is to you. Did you solve the assignment or not? Samu, please answer my question. Samu, are you able to hear me or not? Okay. So, fine. First of all, one link is there in the chat box. Okay. Just click on that and open that and solve the question. And once you are done with it, uh, kindly submit your scores too.
okay fine yeah. okay i'll scroll it down for you can you see the next question as well questions further which are there on board okay Uh, Rashid, are you solving the questions or not? Please let me know in the chat box, Rashid. What are the students who don't respond? You might have done some mistake, that's why you got because online system cannot be wrong, okay? But I'll check it at my end and I'll report your scores accordingly, fine? I'll just check your answers again, okay? And then I'll let you know your appropriate scores. Find out. We are done with the first quiz. Uh, let's solve the next one. The vocabulary one. I'll give you one vocabulary quiz, okay? 20 questions will be there in the bag, okay? Good, very good. Uh, okay, Lakshmi, uh, I'll give you the, uh, you know, writing tools control so that you can change it by yourself, okay? Lakshmi, you can do it now. You can scroll it as per required. This is the link for the next test. Okay. Good, George and uh, Luke. Okay. Now you people can, uh, you know, solve it. Good, come in. Come in, just start solving the second one. Good. Rashid, what is your score? And whoever has solved the first one, please solve the second one. Prabha, are you solving the second one? Prabha, Rahul, Tamil, George. Samu, what about you? So, with, are you going to hear me? Go. Mohammed, I am not, I'm not able to see your answers. Mohammed Shabazz and Mohammed Shukwan, are you there or not? For all those students, fine, uh, Alan. For all those students who join the class and don't respond in class, they are not good. They will be marked as absent. And if your attendance is not up to the mark, then your grades will suffer. You know it already. See, you have five more minutes. Just finish it so that we can do the grammar portion. Okay? And uh, I have informed it earlier too. You have to ask itself from next month onwards. Once in a week. Okay? So, it will be on Tuesday this time. We are going to have a doubt solving session. Okay, Tuesday this time is fine. Fine. Please be there if you have doubts regarding any teacher, any subject. Okay, you can just post your query here. It would be like half motivation session and half uh, doubt solving session. If you have any doubts, you can just write it down here. Okay, you can let me know. 
okay and will i will tell the management about it and they are going to solve it accordingly fine is it clear everyone adikoya what are you talking about are you solving it from the board you have to solve it online adikoya this is the one the link is there so with are you there so with are you there Ramit and Vijit. Vijit, are you there? Vijit, please respond in the chat box. Okay, Ramit, how are you? Where were you from past many days? Okay, fine. So I'm giving you one link. You have to solve that online quiz. And then we'll switch over to the vocab. I mean grammar question. Okay. Is it clear, Ramit? Vijit, is this your first class? Vijit, is this your first class? Please respond. Vijay, are you there or not? Vijay is not responding. I don't know what is the reason. So, Vijay, are you there? Okay. Other than Adi Koya, are others able to hear me well? Other than Adi Koya, are others able to hear me well? Adikoya, please re-log in again. Okay. So, Sujit, you are solving an online quiz. This is the link. You can just solve it fast. Three more minutes to go. After three minutes, I'll switch over to the um, this thing, grammar. So please be, um, see from next month onwards, please be there in Tuesday's class so that if you have any doubts regarding any, you know, features or anything, you can just let me know, okay? Is it clear? And uh, we can resolve your queries and doubts, fine? Two more minutes to go, just finish it fast. Two more minutes, please wrap your work. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Okay, after one minute, everyone needs to stop. Okay, fine. Let's uh, find out. Good. Not too bad. It's good.
Okay, fine. Now, uh, we are going to do the different thing now. Okay? Good. Now, can you see the document on the board? I hope everyone can see that. Okay. Okay. So sometimes you know we find it difficult to write the correct spelling, right? You forget to write the correct spelling sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. Now, so how to ensure that you are writing the correct spelling for something? This is what I'm going to teach you today. Okay? See, we can make the comparative or superlative forms of short adjectives by adding er or est. Okay? Like heavier, this is the comparative form. Uh, that one is heavier than, A is heavier than B. And est means superlative. She is the uh, heaviest of all three, right? So it is like hard, harder, hardest. Hard is the word, harder is the comparative, and hardest is the superlative, right? So can you choose five words at your end and write the superlative and comparative for the same? Just choose five words at your end and then, you know, you have to write the comparative and superlative for the same. Come on, do it. Five words, comparative and superlative. Five. Everyone needs to do the same. And when you type everything in capitals, that means you are shouting. That should not be done. Okay, fine, good. Now, spelling group. Just add ER or ES to the end of the adjective. So you need not to change anything if the adjective is fixed. You just need to add ER or ESP to it to make it comparative or superlative. Fine? Exception. Now, what are the exceptions to this rule? Okay? If the adjective ends, no, consonant V for vowel. Ends in C, consonant Y. Okay? Consonant and Y. Like happy. C, this is Y, it's ending with a consonant. This is a consonant, T is a consonant, right? And Y is a vowel. I mean, a Y is Y. So in that case, you have to change Y to I. Fine? Is it clear? So there are exceptions. See, if you want to convert a word into comparative or a superlative, then it's simpler. It's very simple. I, E, R, or E, S, T, right? But in cases, if it has got Y, it is ending with a Y, and it has got component before that. In that case, what you will do? You will change Y to I, right? Like happiest, happiest. Clear? And then E, R, or E, S, T. Can you give me such example, any such example where the word has been changed, where the word was ending with a consonant and then Y and it has been changed. Can you give me an example like happy has been given here. 
like wealthy wealthy yeah healthy funny funny yes. what else what else come on try down example Very good. Now, if it is ending with a consonant and e, like late, okay, okay, then in that case, what are you going to do? Later, latest, okay. You will add r in case of a comparative and e is e. I mean. ST in case of a, uh, the superlative, right? Now, if it has got double last letter, okay? Consonant, vowel, consonant, okay? Okay? Double last letter in that case, see, suppose it is having this combination, consonant, vowel, consonant, like you can see here, consonant, vowel, consonant, okay? Then in that case, you have to double the last letter and put ER or EST. Right? Okay? Can you give me any such example? Fat. Fatter. Fatter. Right? So it's like consonant, vowel and consonant. Okay? Okay, now, is this much clear to everyone? Adjectives ending in I are regular except cruel, cru crueler, cruelest. Okay, often we need to add ing, right, or ed to a verb to make the um, other forms of the verb. For example, I was talking to her. Hi Mohammed, how are you? Yeah, okay, that's great. So please be regular in class because otherwise your grades will be affected. And if, if at any point of time you are not able to follow anything, just raise your hand or you can post your settings in the chat. Fine. And who all have got doubts with classshutter.com? See, classshutter.com is software in which you get your assignment. Who all have got doubts with that? Please let me know in the chat box. Whoever have not received the password, whoever has not received the password for the thing, just stay back after the class. Now, often we need to add ing or ed, okay, to the verb to make it a different verb, okay. So now spelling rules. Just add ing or ed to the end of the verb, right? Like working, verb, play, playing, played, right? But there are exceptions to this rule. You just cannot add ing or ed to any verb like that. But suppose the verb is having c, v, c, that is consonant, vowel, and consonant, and a stressed syllable, double the final consonant, like stopping. See, it is having this combination. This is a consonant, t is a consonant, o is a vowel, and p is a consonant. So what you do? You double the last consonant and add ing or ed, okay? Beginners also go, yes, correct. But uh, wait, Adikura. It's like, wait, wait, wait. O, O is a vowel. The combination should be consonant, vowel, consonant. It's like vowel, vowel, consonant. So how it could be the answer? 
Is it correct? This one? No. No, no this is not. Think of some other example. Rahul has written um, add. Add is like, but Rahul, it should be consonant, vowel and consonant. A. A is a vowel, but. A is a vowel. You think of some other example. How about this map? Map. Consonant is there. Again, consonant is there, and then in middle they have a vowel. Yeah. So mapping, map. Clear? Ring. Okay. Yeah. Clap. Correct. Now, if the verb is ending with consonant and e, like phone. Okay. Phone has got e at the last, and before that consonant. Okay. So remove e, you remove e from the phone and it should be phone, phone, damn, it is like consonant and e, right, so you will again remove e and you will put i in your e, make, again you remove uh, e and you put i in here. fine, is it clear? Mohammed, are you able to follow what I am teaching? Moment, are you able to follow what I am teaching? Please let me know in the chat box. Okay, good. Now. Good. Alright. So, this, let's proceed ahead with this. Okay, okay. You would be able to get the grasp of it very soon. You are new to it, so you might be finding it difficult to adapt. But uh, very soon you would be able to follow it. Okay? Now, next one. If it has got the combination of IE, okay? Change IE to 1. Like lie, line, die, dine. Fine? Is it clear? Okay? Yeah. Now, if you have to add ly to something, okay? We often make an adverb by adding ly, like quick, quickly, to an adjective. Quick is an adjective, and quickly is an adverb, right? So, spelling rule for adding ly. Okay? Now, so what we do, we just add ly like that, okay? But there are exceptions, okay? If if the adjective is ending in ll, like full, you need not to do anything, you just put one, okay? Full, bull, bully, right? And if it is ending with this, like consonant and then le, like terrible, okay? Then you just remove finally, that is e, which will be removed and you will put y, right? Horrible. Right? Horrible. Correct? Is it clear, everyone? Okay. Do you have any doubt so far? Anyone out there? Do you have any doubt so far? Anyone out there? Now, I, I want to teach you some idioms too, okay, so I have got the worksheet for the thing, so let me switch back to that, okay, fine, just give me a couple of minutes, okay, I'm going to put that on the board. No, this won't work. Hello, are you able to hear me well? Okay. 
Okay, is my voice perfectly audible? Is my voice perfectly okay? Thank you. So I'm just putting the document on the box. Can you see the documents now? Okay, good. Now, let me go on that part which I want to teach you. This we have already done, right? This much. This also we have done that day. So let's switch over to this. Again. So on cloud nine, if I say no, this we have done till here. Go down here. Hit the road. Yeah. Hit the road. Leave. It's getting late. Yes. We had better hit the road. Keep one this whole thing we have done. So we have to start from uh, yeah, over the hill. Yeah. Over the hill, past middle age. I knew I was over the hill when I started needing glasses to read. So if I'm someone is over the hill, that means they are in like mid 40. Fine. Is it here? Is it here, everyone? So if some if someone is over the hill, they are in past mid. Fine. Now, rain on someone else's paradise. Par paradise. Ru ruin somebody else's happiness. So if you rain on someone else's parade, that means you are ruining their happiness. Whenever I had a dance recital, my older brother always rained on my parade. parade. Now stick in the mud. Yes. Stick in the mud. A loner, a person who won't join me. Okay? If someone is stick in the mud, they are a loner who won't join me. They, they, they didn't bother inviting Charles to the party because he is always a stick in the mud. But if someone is sticking them on, they are lonely and they won't join the party. Quick as lightning, as quick as lightning. Very fast. Wow. You sh your shower was as quick as lightning. Fine, Prabha. Now, what is this? the tip of the iceberg? A small part of a large process. Okay? So, the tip of the iceberg is small part of large problem. The Lord thick it for this the tip of iceberg. Fine? Is it clear, everyone? Take a rain check. Accept a later date. Okay? I would love to go out for dinner, but I can take a rain check. So, accept at a later date. Fine? Under the weather. If you are under the weather, that means you are ill. I was feeling under the weather, so I went back to bed. Clear? Up the creek, in trouble. If my dad finds out I had a party, I will be up the creek. Up the creek means in trouble. Win by a landslide, win by a lot of points. The skyer in the green coat won by a landslide. So if you have won by a landslide, okay, then in that case uh, you have won by a lot of points as compared to the other person who was playing against you. Right? Get wind of something. Over here, something about someone or some something. Often gossip. My dad has a new girlfriend. I got wind of it over dinner tonight. Okay? Over here, something. I mean to gossip about something. Is it clear? Now, what you have to do? Are these idioms clear to you? Whatever I have taught you today? Yeah. Now. You have to choose, um, you know, one idiom out of many given here, and then you have to write one short paragraph uh, which should convey the same speech. Okay? Then you need not to make the mention of that same idiom. It should just convey the same thing. Clear? Is it clear, everyone? Uh, it's totally up to you which one you are going to choose. See, choose one idiom out of the many listed on the board. Just write one very short paragraph, which should convey the same meaning. Okay? Is it clear, Adipura? Is it clear, everyone? Adipura, suppose you are choosing this one. Make a mountain out of molehill. Okay? 
in that case, uh, you will just uh, narrate one story. I mean, you will write it down in which you, it will convey the same thing. Okay? That okay, there was she, my grandmother is of that kind, and one day she lost the needle, but she thought since uh, she is a bit, uh, you know, um, she listens a bit less. So because of that, she thought that uh, we have lost the gold, and she started shouting. She called the police. But later on, she came to know that it was just a needle, not something else. Okay, something on that side. Right. So she was making a mountain out of money. This is the message. It's the story from me. Okay. Is it clear earlier in the class what you have to do here? Okay. So just write it down, please. Mission and then will come back to it. Good, very good. Yeah, fine. You have two minutes, please finish it fast. Shall we proceed ahead? Now I uh, will switch over to saying good earning, very good, good result. Uh, Prabha, you have also written it well. Now, saying, a washed pot never boils. That means if you want to heat water until it boils and you will wash it as you wait, then it seems to take a long time. In the same way, anything that we wait for with eager attention seems to take a long time. See, if I am keen about something and if I am waiting for it, then it will appear to take more time than it 
even any date, right? Right? So it means avoid spot, never bone. Is it clear? Great. Very okay. Okay. Fine. So all things are difficult before they are easy. The implication in fact that we should be patient with learning. So see, um, if you have joined the class recently, it will appear tough to you because you are not adapted to the teaching style and other stuff. But as you will learn, you will get accustomed to it, right? So implication is you should be patient with learning and with learners. It takes time to learn to do things. What seems mm -hmm. easy to us now may have been difficult at first, right? So I just cannot expect my students to learn everything in one book because when I would have learned as a student, I might have taken much more time than this, right? So all things are difficult before they are easy, right? Right? And most of the time, you know, why is a fight broke up? You know, breaks up. A fight breaks up, in, especially in cases of domestic affairs, right? Like what happens? The mother-in-law will expect the same maturity level from the uh, daughter-in-law as she is doing, right? But when she would have been, you know, daughter-in-law, she might have not given the same. She might not be so good at it as she is now, right? So this is the real reason behind most of our fights, whether it's in office or in domestic affairs, we expect, we don't see the other person's perspective. We actually expect the same maturity level as we are on now, right? But it would have been difficult earlier when we were learning, when we were there at their stage, but we don't want to understand that, right? Yeah. Okay. So we are done for today. We are going to, you know, continue with this tomorrow itself. Okay. Okay. So don't forget to fill the feedback form and uh, Lakshmi, uh, Lakshmi can you please uh, give me your uh, this email ID so that I can send you the password and whoever has not got the password kindly give me your email ID please. And don't forget to fill the feedback form. Yes, that was very, uh, very, very correct and true. Lakshmi and whoever is okay. Yeah, let's see. Okay, I have this ID. I'm going to send you the password. Who else is, uh, has not got And I'm going to send you the document which, in which you will have the demonstration of how you need to log in. Fine? Okay, Anu and let's see. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Anu and let's see. So four assignments are there all together. Please just solve all four of them and I'll grade them. Okay. Mohammed's ID I'll note down. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.